shrimp is marinated and sauteed. A fresh guac is then prepared with fresh avocado and lime juice. It's then mashed and the sauteed shrimp is added, together with cilantro, jalapeno, salt, onion, Mexican chili powder, and a little bit of chipotle sauce. Some cube cheese is also added and it's mixed and served immediately. Food Adventures, I'm Karen Ahmed. This recipe is going to pack a whole lot of ole. We're going to be making my epic guacamole. This recipe is packed with amazing flavors and some secret ingredients as well. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. I'm going to start with the shrimp. I have 300 grams here and since these are larger shrimp, I've cut them into small pieces. Add some salt to taste and a half teaspoon each of cumin, Mexican chili powder and black pepper. Next I'm going to add the juice of half a lime and I'm going to allow this to marinate. Add a little bit of oil to a hot pan and saute this in batches. I'm now going to throw in some slices of jalapeno. Once cooked, remove it and keep it aside. To make the guac, you will need three ripe avocados. Scoop out the flesh and add the juice of one and a half limes and mash the avocado. I like my guac chunky, so I'm not going to mash it too much. Next, I'm going to add in the cooked shrimp. I'm also going to add in one fourth of a cup of fresh chopped cilantro, one tablespoon of minced jalapeno, salt to taste, and a quarter cup of chopped onion. For spices, I'm going to add one teaspoon of Mexican chili powder and one teaspoon of chipotle sauce. And because this is an epic wok, I'm adding a quarter cup of cheese. I've just cut this into really small cubes. You can use any kind of firm cheese. Give this a good mix and serve it with all the fixins and some tortilla chips. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for my epic guacamole. It truly is an amazing recipe. It comes together really quickly and all of your family and friends will love it. If you love my videos, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. I really love hearing from you. Also, let me know what other kinds of recipes you're looking to see. Make sure that you've rung the bell, guys, so that you are notified every time I upload a new video, as well as make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. And for some behind-the-scenes footage, make sure to follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and TikTok. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy eating. Bye.